Hey friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm Cher. So today I'm going to be bringing you along with me to go through all the goodies I got on the Black Friday sales this year. There's still some going on, so if there's anything in here you see, check it out. It might still be available, okay? The main sites, Sephora. So we're going to go through my Sephora haul, and then also Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, so they were having a massive, like 50% off everything. I mean, are all these goodies at least? So I was like, okay, I'm a big ABH person, so I had to grab them. Um, I also got a couple things off Amazon, so I'll walk you through that too. Don't mind the no makeup. I'm not wearing it on purpose so that I can walk you through and test out some of these products, and we're going to create some kind of makeup look using all the new goodies that I got. So if that interests you, make sure to give me a good like and subscribe, and we're going to dig in. Okay, so first I'm going to go through and just show you everything I got. And then we'll go back and we'll test it all, okay? And swatch it up for you and come up with maybe a makeup look using these products. So, the first one is from Sephora. Okay, the number one most exciting thing that I'm really excited about is the Huda, Huda Beauty Nude Palette. So, I've wanted this forever. I have always had my eye on this. But, y'all, it was 50% off on Sephora. So I was like, well, it's at that price. I'm getting it. I think normally it runs um, 60 something US dollars and it was on sale for like 30. So I was like, okay, that's it. I'm getting it. Um, part of why I've really been wanting it is because it has a lot of pinks and stuff in it. I find, so I'm a professional makeup artist and I'll give you a little intro kind of towards the end maybe. What I find is I do get brides sometimes or, you know, clients that really want some soft pinks. They'll bring me inspiration pictures and want me to, like, match that. And I just find that, like, I have so many palettes, but none of them are the right pinks. <laughs> They're either, like, really peachy or really browny or really dark. There's not really a lot of, like, soft pinks that I can go for. I end up using my blush a lot of times to create that certain, there's just this like certain color of pink. And so I just, I've noticed that this one has a lot more like pinky shades in it and stuff. So I was thinking it might be what I need. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. It's got a great mix of mattes and shimmers, I think, you know? So anyway, I'm very excited to try that. I've been wanting it forever. I've got a couple other things um, by her, but not this one, not this one, but this one's like, I feel like this is just a basic staple everybody needs to have in their collection. You know what I mean? Okay, so I picked that one up. We will definitely be working with it. Um, then, so even though my other haul is Anastasia Beverly Hills, I did grab this off Sephora. I think they were 50% off on both sites, honestly, but I think I saw this one before I saw the ABH sale. So I got the Brow, um, Brow Freeze Styling Wax. Um, I've tried it before, but recently I did the e.l.f. e.l.f. one, and I really, it's been a while since, like, I wanted to kind of compare the two. Isn't that so pretty? I love the packaging of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, anyway, I wanted to be able to compare them and just kind of see my thoughts on which one I like better, and so I may do that, be looking for it. I'm probably not going to do it in this video but I will probably have a short or something. So be on the lookout for that. I got Makeup Forever um, Velvet Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation, Blurring Powder Foundation. So in my kit, I use a lot of Arbonne products. I do sell Arbonne, but I've, it's not a huge part of my business. I just, I mostly, um, like I've got a couple videos out there where I was first getting started and I just find that I don't have time to focus on selling Arbonne soap, but I love a lot of their products because they're vegan and cruelty-free and clean. They just, they, and gluten-free. They have everything that clients can possibly need as far as if they have problems with allergies and that kind of thing. Um, I don't have to worry about people breaking out from it. If a client wants all gluten-free makeup, I know I can go to Arbonne. So I use a lot of their base products. And so I have all, I mostly use their Second Nature powders kind of as like my, my powder foundation for most of my clients. But I've been wanting to test out other brands. I know Makeup 
Makeup Forever is um, a big brand that professional makeup artists use a lot for their base products. So anyway, I saw this one on sale, so I was like, I'm going to grab it um, and check out how their powder foundation works. So here it is, and I think hopefully this is the right match for me, color match. It looks like it will be. I also got this, Pat McGrath's, that's awesome. Their, uh, I guess, foundation, some samples. So we're definitely going to use this today. We are going to be, do you know, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe I do not own one single Pat McGrath product. Until now, I own a sample. <laughs> so I'm so excited about that. Also got some Tula as samples in here. Tula skincare, the which I have done, I have used Tula. So I got their purifying face cleanser and their hydrating day and night cream. So maybe we'll put that on first before. Well, I'm not gonna wash my face, but maybe I'll use the moisturizer. But I have tried them before, so that won't be new for me. Sorry, guys. Okay, and then the last thing that I got was Makeup by Mario. I also do not own, until now, any Makeup by Mario products. And so I have got to change that. I've been like, I've got to change that. So I picked up, um, I think this is lip gloss that I ordered. I've really been looking at some of his like lip combos for my bridal kit. I would love to check out some of his combinations. But you guys, the lips, I'm always running wild and rampant on. <laughs> So anyway, this is a lip gloss. It is, let's see, Pro Volume Lip Gloss in the shade Rose Nude. So we will definitely run with that one as well. Okay, so that's everything on the Sephora side. Now we're going to look at the ABH haul, which is a little bigger because I am, I use a lot of ABH as my staples in my kit too. So the first thing, guys, can you believe I don't own the Soft Glam Palette? I love the Soft Glam Palette. I've used it from other people. Always seen it and know it, but I didn't own it. I own the uh, the Modern Renaissance, which I love, and I use all the time in bridal, all the time. Um, but this is such a good one for bridal as well. Isn't it so pretty? So this was on sale for half off. So I was like, 20 bucks? <clears throat> yes, please. I know some of these are very old school to y'all. This is not really new and, you know, up and coming makeup that I'm, that I got. But, you know, that's usually the case with like Black Friday sales. They usually don't put like the, the newest, latest stuff on, on the sales. Um, okay. Another thing I got, I love these loose pigments. I've talked about these before. So I stocked up on a couple more colors because before I just had the sand one. And so I wanted to get more just other shades that I think I'll use. Like this is a little bit of a pinky tone. This one is daiquiri. And then this one is crystal. So it's almost slightly, I won't say silver, but a little more silvery than the sand. That's more of like a tan color. So I love these, the loose pigment. They're great for that extra sparkle on the eyes, like a little extra highlight up here. Fabulous stuff. So I did get a couple more of these and we can swatch them. And then um, oh, I also got, in addition to the brow freeze, I got more of the dip brow pomade, um, which I've used before. I actually really love pomades. I'm really into them now. I feel like I get a better look in my brows and on clients even by using a pomade as opposed to a pencil. However, I have not stocked up on a bunch of pomades for my kit because they're just not as portable. Like they take up a lot more room. They're awkwardly shaped because they're kind of like usually a cir circle shape. Um, and it's just so much easier to have like pencils. And then on top of that, I would need to have an extra brush for each one of them. Um, so it's just more, you know, I'm really trying to focus on making my kit more concise and condensed. And this is not going to help it if I have like five or six shades of these different ones for every client, you know? So I tend to stick with um, brow pencils for my clients instead, even though I really prefer pomades, but we will definitely be playing with this today. I got it really for me to use because I just, I like, I like pomades a lot. Um, okay, then lips. I know, I have a lip problem, guys. I have 
my lip collection is so out of control in my kit. And I just keep buying more lip stuff and I need to quit. All right, so I got more. I got a lip liner. This is Dusty Rose lip liner, right? Yeah, Dusty Rose. <clears throat> I will go ahead and swatch that just because it's easy to do right here. Um, definitely a dusty color. It does have a rose in it. It's it's a very rustic, rusty, rosy, rustic color. That's the best way. And I, they, they named it right. <laughs> and then another one I got was Deep Taupe. I will swatch that one for you as well. That's it right there. So a little more brown. Um, I always need browns and neutrals like crazy in lip liner and it's hard because there's like so many degrees of how dark the brown is depending on the lip look so I need those then I got lipstick I got two lipsticks they're satin lipsticks one is the praline shade praline um, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you as well there it is Watch that one for you. There's Praline. It's, a, I feel like that's just a perfect, like, pinky nudie color. Um, so I grabbed it. I know that's a very popular shade. So I wanted to try it out. And then this one is Peach Amber. I wouldn't say that's, they look a lot alike, don't they? Almost the same color. I didn't realize I was going to be getting the same exact color, but you know how that goes okay and then the last thing that I got this is actually from Amazon I'm going to be doing a whole nother video on this but I will give you a quick tour of it but I'm going to do a very detailed video about this bag it is now probably kind of more my official makeup kit bag so I got that on a Black Friday sale too I don't remember how much it was originally but I got it on sale for about 40 bucks, which was a great, when I think about how much I've spent on my other kit, like the whole system, that was like, holy cow. Um, so the point of this bag is I, like I was talking about before, I really want to, um, condense my makeup kit and make it so much more portable and more efficient and streamlined and something that is not so bulky and crazy to carry around. I was doing a system where I was pulling my whole kit on like a trolley, like a, it was like a big giant suitcase with all different pieces. And I have a video out there introducing you to my kit that was updated. So, um, this one, I'm going to do another, a new video on how I have managed to really streamline and get it all condensed down better for travel. So I'm going to give you a whole video, giving you a tour of that, how I did everything. So anyway, um, but I did want to show you cause that was kind of part of my haul was that bag um, straight from Amazon. And I will put the link down below here too, to it so that you can find it if um, you need to. Now we're going to get into testing the goodies. So very exciting, come on along. Okay, we're going to start with the brow freeze. The only thing about this is it doesn't come with a brush. Um, like some brow, brow soaps that I've had, but I just have to grab one here. Well, let's see how it does. Hmm. Oh yeah, there we go. I just didn't get it like wet enough, guys. There we are. Look at that. Look at that texture. Wowzers. I like, it might be. I'm gonna have to prepare, uh, compare it to Elf and we'll see. That definitely locked it down big time. Okay, next we're gonna use the dip pomade. Look how like pretty and new it looks and now I'm about to ruin it. I hate that like first dig in and I'm using this tiny little brush, but this is kind of my little brow pom pomade brush that I like to use. I may have gotten a little too dark for my shade. I don't know. Um, this is in the shade medium brown. And I can't remember what I was before, but eh. So I've recently been using the Maybelline 
is it Tattoo Studio, I think. Um, so comparing it to that, this one feels a lot thicker. Like you have to be careful how much you apply it on, I think. Oof. Because look at them wonky. I look like. <laughs> okay, I didn't buy any new like concealer or setting powder. Um, anything that, you know, I use for that next step. So I just went ahead and applied my own. But brows are a little better looking. That, that color might actually work. I think it just needed shaping a little more. And not just so like, I don't know, I felt like Cookie Monster. Anyway, we're going to move on to eyeshadow. Definitely going to go with like a pinky kind of look. And I'm wearing pink today, so it, it works, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to come in with that middle one. Tickle. And just start laying it on. Uh, yeah. Is that coming out purple? It's coming out purple, guys always purple. That's my problem, is trying to find the perfect pink, it comes out purple. Now, I'm going to do this one right here on the outer corners. This is spanked. Um, I would normally do a different brush, but I'm just kind of testing things out, so I'm not going to get too fancy. Oh, yeah. Now, that makes like a hot pink. I like that. I just want to test out what the colors are, so I'm going to try this one is a base. My fingernails are like, I am not one of those influencers that has like really great nails. I don't understand how people do makeup with long nails or anything for that matter, like type or anything. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try, um, Ooh, there was a color in the soft glam that I had my eye on. I've also noticed that some of the colors in this are the same colors in the modern renaissance like cypress umber i know is in that palette and sienna and burnt orange those were all colors in the modern renaissance so they've duplicated she's duplicated a few i'm gonna do the rosy pink pretty rose pink whatever it's pretty shimmer oh that's gorgeous daydream let's try daydream just pop it like right here in the corner. Oh my God. Oh, you guys. That's my pink. That's my pink right there. How gorgeous. That doesn't give you a lot of playing around with the two, but I'm going to leave it at that. I forgot to tell you, I did also order a bunch of beauty blenders on this Black Friday sale on Amazon. So that's one thing I forgot to mention. I probably won't show you those because they're just cheap cheap beauty blenders but they're like this that have the flat tip I've been finding I like that better it gets into I'm able to do like under the eyes better I don't know about you guys but I like the flat ones and you can like bake with them they're so much easier than the just regular triangle pointed ones so I, I stocked up on some of these on Black Friday off of Amazon and I can make sure I link that too um, I'm gonna use the palette for under the eyes use this black right here. This is called Noir. 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 We have these loose pigments, so we want to try them out. I'm going to try the daiquiri because it's got the pink theme going on. Um, and I can swatch the others. Normally, so it's loose pigment, so I normally put these on like a um, mixing palette, but I'm going to see if I can get it into the cap for now and just dip my brush in it. Of course not. It's going to be a pain. We'll see. Now, it might not be any more pigmented than the Huda Beauty was. So, there's that. Okay, I just put some on my hand there. And so, this gives you a feel. It kind of looks... It has a little more... Um, it's pinky, but it's got hints of, like, peach, I think. So... Not as pink as I thought, but it's still, it's really pretty. I love that. I'm going to swatch the other one for you real quick, just so you see what it looks like. This is the crystal one. Actually, I'm going to try putting this one on my eyes because this is kind of like silvery. It came out so much easier. Look, holy, 
F. You guys, I'm trying not to cuss on here anymore. I used to, but I'm trying to be a little more professional. You guys, that's the perfect color. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> that did it. And that one's coming out so much better. I don't know why. The other one, it was hard to get out. I'm going to swatch it here next to that one. Look at that. <gasps> that is perfect. Crystal, that's the one, guys. Right there. I love it. Look at that. How gorgeous. So, I'm probably going to use, I might use this as my highlight today, too. So I'm going to keep this out so that I can come back to it. But yes, Crystal, that's the one. Look at that. Stunning. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize with the Tula. I'm not going to wash my face because um, I have that face cleanser already. But I can't remember. I don't think I have the moisturizer. So um, I'm just testing it out. Yeah, I like it. It... It has a scent. It's not unscented. Very fresh scent. Um, I'd say it has a pretty thin texture. It's cooling. Yeah, it's a pretty lightweight moisturizer. So I see why a lot of people really like it. But look how moisturized my face does look. It looks great. It does look like, even though it was lightweight, it's really moisturizing it. You see all that shine? Look at that. Okay, now we're going to try out the Pat McGrath Foundation. So exciting. And it's the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I think I'm going to be a light medium. Yeah, I'm usually like a light to medium shade. So, so excited, y'all. Um, first, I'm going to pop on some primer. And I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm probably not applying this with the right technique today, but again, being lazy with just testing things. So um, I don't recommend usually like applying it onto the skin and then rubbing because, you know, it just it doesn't blend as well. But that's still what I'm doing because I'm lazy. Okay, very silky finish, guys. You know, I think too that moisturizer is really helping too. I'm kind of, it's selling me even more. It's starting to sell me. I, I'm seeing why people rave about Tula so much. Um, wow. Because I do feel like my finish is so much better and easier to apply after that moisture. Wow, look at that. It's very like luminous, but it's hard to tell if it's the foundation or the moisturizer underneath. But I like it. Um, I won't say it is full, full, full coverage because I see a few spots still shining through. And you see like even there's a little red and I don't usually struggle with redness, but there's a slight pop of redness coming through. Um, feels very silky to me. Very lightweight, very lightweight. It just like glided on. So I like the application. I like it a lot. I think I like it. So my very first Pat McGrath product. It's hard to know which one's really giving me the awesome finish, to be honest with you. So, but no, I like it. I like it. So I'm going to put on the stuff that I have not bought new, just my own products, and then I'll meet you back here for the powders and lips, I think is what we have left of the new products. I'm going to apply this um, loose pigment as highlight now. And so I'm just going to see how it works to do it as highlight. Oh, it's a little. <laughs> Don't think I recommend this for highlight. Just for the eyes probably, guys. I'm going to finish it out on this side. But oh my. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe get a little less on your brush. So, um, or get one of those fan brushes. Do I have a, here's my fan brush. This is thick, so I need. See how it will work with. I'm gonna put it like here. Yeah, that's better. I think if you use it as highlight instead of as just eye pop, you're gonna need to make sure you have the right kind of brush. Um, but it's very thin. This is a little too thick of a fan brush, but anyway, I just didn't want to open up my kit and get all my brushes dirty again, y'all. <laughs> so I use my personal brushes, but then all of those are dirty. 
and I'm going to come back in and, um, whoo, yeah, that's wild. So yeah, you just need a better application and technique than me. Just be careful with it, but it can be used. I think I'm just going to put a little dab right there. There we go. Ooh, beautiful. Put a pop up here along the brow bone. Let's figure out lips. Unfortunately, I feel like these colors might be too brown for our cool tone look, you know, but I'm going to go with, I'm going to try the nude. What is this one? This was the deep taupe. I'm going to do the deep taupe with the peach amber and hope it doesn't come out too peachy. <laughs> Now let's do the peach amber. I think that's perfect. I love that. Slightly darker. It's not like a light pink, but it it's making for like a fabulous nude color that's not like too warm tone for this look, I think. Now let's top it off with the makeup by Mario. I'm having to use a very fat <laughs> brush because I just, yeah, bear with me. Oh, I love that. It's a little brownie for our look, but <clears throat> yeah, I probably wouldn't use this. I'd probably use one of my more pinky glosses to go, but I do think that that combo, like they were a little bit darker um, taupe, and then you put over like a pinky gloss over it, I think it would be a great look with these eyes, but this still works. This is still pretty. It's just not what I, um, was going for with like a really, really ultra pink, but anyway, isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to pop on some lashes. Okay. I just popped some lashes on. Now the last, last, last step is going to be powder foundation real quick. I usually put it especially where I had concealer. Ooh. Wow. Look at that. It is so smoothing. Okay, I see why people like this. Yes. Mmm. Okay. Guys, I think I'm going to be switching to makeup forever <laughs> for my powder foundations. <gasps> wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. All right, guys, here is the finished look. Look at those pretty pink eyes. Wow, I think we may have found it. I think we may have found it. I also am so over the moon about this um, finishing powder. Definitely going to be the one. And the Tula. The Tula. I'm going to have to go get more Tula moisturizer. That stuff is bomb. And everything is like a hit. I love it. I love it. So that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. What did you get on your Black Friday? sales let me know down below um, and do you have any of these products let me know which ones you have and just make sure that you hit that notification bell in general so that you will catch any of the videos that I share that might resonate with you so some of the things I like to vlog here I love to do travel vlogs and I also love to do vlogs behind the scenes of my business as I mentioned before I'm a professional makeup artist so I love to do beauty product reviews shopping hauls like this one um, makeup looks makeup tips and tricks all those things there's so much beauty in the world let's discover it together so if any of those things resonate with you make sure you hit the like and subscribe button make sure you listen out for future videos and I'm gonna catch you in the next one